I'll first demo the numbering in a blank document. I need to choose outlines here and then pick the outline that I want. The dialog box gives me examples of what different outlines will look like. These all come pre-programmed, but you can also save and create your own. Now I can apply different levels of the outline by either clicking the button for that level or by pressing keystrokes on the keyboard, Alt-1 for level 1, Alt-2 for level 2, and so on. Here when I press enter I get the next number, so if I want level 2 I can either choose it, use keystrokes to change the level, or use these buttons here to promote and demote it. I'm just going to put a little bit of text in to show you how this works. Press enter, you get the next number. And we can just keep choosing our levels by either clicking the level, or pressing a keystroke, or using the buttons. I've moved into an actual legal document to show you some things you can do. Sometimes when you have an outline you want to make it look different. For example, let's say that we really wish we had uh, made all of level 1 uppercase, bold, and then underline the text that we're typing, like definitions and organization. Because I use the outlines, I can click on any of the level 1 paragraphs, go to format level, and make some changes. So let's bold it, let's underline it, and let's make it uppercase, all caps. And you can see throughout my entire document, wherever I've used level 1, the changes have taken effect. So there are several things that you can do to change the way the numbering looks, changing the way the number itself looks, changing the indentation, changing spacing, and then the types of things we just showed you. Other things I could do would be to make changes to the entire outline. Perhaps I wish my text wrapped in under the numbers. I can go to this last choice here and choose to wrap in with hanging indents. The change is made. And you can see that you could do things like double spaces, single spaces, justify it, left align it, etc. Now in this example I'm going to work with the actual paragraphs. Here where I have, let's just choose this uh, 1.3 affiliate. Let's say that I had more that I wanted to say beneath 1.3, but I don't want it numbered. I just want it to be like an extension of that paragraph. I could go to the end of the paragraph and press enter. I get the number, but if I go up to my ribbon and choose to switch it to the continued style, it removes the number but keeps the indents. Now that I've made some changes to this outline, let's say that I want to save it so that in the future I can use this outline the way I have it set up now in any document. Choose, save, give it a name. We'll just give it a short name here. Tell it to create the outline. It's been created. In the future, I can open any document, go to Outlines, and any one that I saved will be listed under My Personal Outlines. Let's check it. There's Level 1 with our bold uppercase and underline, and Level 2. I'm just pasting text here. Wraps in the way we set it to. In this example, let's say that we wanted to have all of these headings, we call these run-in headings because they run into the rest of the paragraph, bold and underlined throughout the document. There are a couple ways you can go about this. Rather than manually doing it, we could go up to our run-in headings and tell it just use direct formatting. For level 2 of my outline, I would like all the little run-in headings to be bold and underlined, and I'm setting this uh, to go up to the period with the formatting. And it's done. Now all this did was go through and bold and underline it as if I had done it myself. Let's take that off, level 2, remove, and this time we'll create actual run-in headings so that if we want a table of contents, we will get just these, not the entire paragraph. So this time I'm going to set my level up the way I would want my headings. So I want it bold and I want it underlined. And I'm not going to panic when I see the entire paragraph changing. Instead, I'll go to my run-in headings, tell it to create them. 
These are the actual run-in headings, not the direct formatting ones. Just for level two, my entire document is set now. And if I need a table of contents, I can just run that. So let's say that I want the table of contents after a title page before this. I'll just put my cursor here. Table of contents. I only want level one and level two of my outline in it. I want it where my cursor is. I want to set the section up. That will take care of page numbering for me so I don't have to mess around with that. One table of contents coming up. And there's the lowercase Roman numeral page numbering. In this example, we're looking at a pleading, and I'm going to show you how we can use the outlines numbering tool to run both a table of contents and table of authorities at once. Now, this is a California pleading, but this would work in any pleading. So I've used the outlines numbering tool to apply the outline, as well as if I turn show hide on momentarily, you can see that I have also marked for table of authorities. So somebody did need to mark for table of authorities, but now that that's done, I can put my cursor where I want my table of contents and table of authorities. And let's say that we want them below the caption, above the body, because we're going to file this electronically, and that's where we want them to be positioned. Put my cursor there, click the button. Be, it sees that it's a pleading, so it offers not just to insert the table of contents, but the table of authorities as well. And we could change what the footer say, but we'll just leave that alone for now. It runs. There's my table of contents with the lowercase Roman numerals, and there's my table of authorities with the page numbering continuing. Let's say someone else created this document. I want to use it, but they've used a totally different outline than I like. All I need to do to change it is go to Choose Outlines and pick the outline that I wish we had used. Let's go with this one tell it OK, it sees that I've already used an outline in this document. Do I want to change? Yes. And the entire document is reformatted. What was level 1 before remains level 1. What was level 2 remains level 2.